Dr. Kim, you're a lawyer. You guys think that Eddie Freeze is going crazy on his live, right? I missed all that. Well, this morning is the 26th Friday of June 2020. What you guys don't understand is I'm way ahead of you. You need to start learning things and knowing how things work in this world. When I heard that a hush puppy's house was going to be raided and they were going to arrest him, okay, all I was told was that it's a joint operation. Dubai police, the um, Interpol, and the Secret Service of the United States. When they raided Hush Puppy's house, Gislava showed you photos of police cars in front of his house saying they're at Hush Puppy's house. I told you what was going on in the house. I'm a journalist. Gislava is a wannabe blogger. Listen carefully. When they raided Hush Puppy's house, I contacted Freeze and I asked Freeze, what does he think about it? I may not have posted many things, but you'll see it later because I'm investigated and I'm an investigative journalist. Freeze talked to me privately and what he said, I knew it would come out one day. He told me that Auntie Kemi, I went to Dubai. When you travel, many of you have not even gotten on a plane, let alone travel out of this country. When I traveled to Dubai, I wanted to meet people. I wanted to see this guy called Hush Puppy. So I contacted him. This is social media. There are no gatekeepers. You can contact people in the DM. This is the same way I contacted Debanj in the DM. I haven't seen Debanj since 2006, and I wanted to talk to him about a woman who said he was, you know, he raped her in a hotel. The DM is powerful. Remember when Obama replied me in the DM in 2012? Of course, many of you were not even on Instagram. At the end of the day, start contacting people in the DM. They might be reading it or their reps might be reading it. I don't manage my DM. Okay, I have someone that manages it for me. But when it comes to certain people, I read their DMs and I try to read all DMs at night and on weekends. Guys, let me tell you this. Freeze told me that he does not have any financial association with Hush Puppy. I have never gotten any kind of money transfers from him. He has never sent me any alerts. I simply asked him that I wanted to meet him. And if you show me, you know, around Dubai or what I need to know, you know, that sort of thing. Well, when Freeze got there, Hush Puppy showed him his apartment, his staff, and it became an interview. Every last one of us saw the interview, everything. Some of you were praising him. Others were yapping. It doesn't matter. Freeze went there, got an interview. We journalists, we can go somewhere and it can become an interview. Ask President Basanjo. Anytime I see him, it's an interview. He says it. Oh, Kevin wants to talk to me. Now it's a potential interview. Guys, this is how it is with public figures. Believe it or not, Hush Puppy is a public figure. This is how it looks. Yeah, Hush Puppy scammed me. He laughed with Linda over the fact that he wanted me to apologize to her. What about Hush Puppy's photographer, who they're now saying is allegedly the one that's been supporting Linda through Hush Puppy? I don't have any problem with that. I ask people to support my blog all the time. I'm an independent journalist, I don't get any funding, and I spend a lot of my own time, energy, and money on work and information that you need. So it's no big deal. Now, if that money is used for other purposes or being laundered, then it's a big deal. Every money transfer that Hush Puppy made went through different people. And the photographer was said to have been the one that was sending money, allegedly, to Linda. Linda got money from the Desuki Fund. The Desuki Fund, the famous Obama money for Boko Haram. Linda clarified that that money was for her adverts, and she did adverts for the political time. At the end of the day, I wrote a write-up on Facebook, which you all need to go and read. My content on all my platforms are never the same. That content is very viral now. Hush puppy said that he was never, ever rich. Nobody in his family made it. They lived in poverty. And he spoke about how he escaped that poverty. Did you know that Hush Puppy went to the U.S. Embassy to try and get a visa? This is the Nigerian government's fault. When young people are running to the embassy to get a visa, to get out of the country and go make it elsewhere, 
They didn't give it to him. He tore up that embassy. He scattered the place. Did you know that? There's a lot I know I didn't tell you. I've been investigating Hushrap in the back, finding out more and more things. Freeze told me basically that there was no way that he had any kind of financial transaction, financial association with Hush Puppy. That's why you're not seeing him writing about it. And then the second wave, Hush Puppy's arrest on video. How many police departments actually videotape a raid, okay, and make so much propaganda out of it? Graphics, editing, everything. Block their police faces, which is standard. Block Woodbury and everybody else's face, but expose Hush Puppy's face because he's what? Allegedly the ringleader, right? That right there is a violation. I keep telling you that he's holding their passport. You keep telling me bullshit. Okay, if he's not holding their passport, they won't give him that kind of treatment. They would have sent him to Nigeria a long time ago. Or what the Americans usually do, they'll lock him up, prosecute him over there. And after they'll deport him. This is a joint operation. Hush Puppy owes a lot of countries money that he allegedly scammed in his ring of network. At least the video that the Dubai people brought out helped us reporters to know what's exactly going on. After giving him their passport, they're now using him and setting him up for arrest. He renounced his Nigerian citizenship. He told all of you guys. And now you're saying, nobody can get a UAE passport. But shut up. Shut the fuck up and listen to Kemi and Anaya. Or maybe I should say beginning today, nobody should listen to anything I say until it comes true, and then you vindicate me. You're Nigerians, you're supposed to be intelligent. Become intelligent. As for Hush Puppy, the video he made about his poverty and about how he escaped poverty to go abroad, it's not only him, it's a lot of people. I met Hush Puppy online when he wrote a write-up on me. Before he wrote the write-up, I wrote a write-up and said, Hush Puppy, come and donate now. I actually did it as a satirical video. Come and donate to my fundraiser, active fundraiser. And he said, oh, you were fighting Linda Kaye over what she said in the punch, that I was languishing in jail and I sent her 100,000 naira for her bail when nobody cared about her. I made it clear that, Linda, you didn't send me money for my bail, okay? A lawyer represented me free, a, an entire team. It was not my bail keeping me in prison, it was a shorty, okay? At the end of the day, nobody wanted to shorty me because if I get out, they feel that I'll get on the plane and run to America and they will go to prison. So Linda spoke wrongly. Linda has been in the thorn of my flesh for a long time. After breaking up my cousin's marriage with Dan Foster, losing my 30 naira, 30,000, excuse me, 30 million naira, it is a lot deal. When Linda said I was running guns in my house, I was a gun runner. I had a gun trafficking room and I threatened bloggers with my gun. All these things happen. You need to know what's happened. So everybody says, oh, she keeps trolling Linda. You've got to know what people do before people start trolling them. They step on your toes. You need to fight back. At the end of the day, she gave me 100,000 naira for my bail when I was languid, when nobody, my mother was upset. Quite a few, few people were upset watching that. Nobody cared. Hush up, you said, apologize to Linda, I'll give you money. I did. Hush Puppy didn't give me a penny. He laughed with Linda. You want me to release the video of them laughing together? Do you want me to release the screenshots of Hush Puppy's boys contacting me that, oh, I'm sorry about this video. He will try and send you something. Sean the escaper and the photographer. All those things are not going to be good for Linda. Linda will not be able to enter that UAE. They'll be waiting for her at the airport. So on this note, I just want to say, guys, May God forgive Hush Puppy, wherever he is. And I know where he is. I've already told you. If you like, believe me. If you like, don't. Because a country releases a propaganda video, so you think he's in Dubai getting prosecuted, right? He's going to be prosecuted in a lot of countries. But right now, he's in Moshana. Okay? Thanks for listening. Dr. K.O.O., Dr. Kemelonaya, Kemelonaya. Have a great weekend. I have a lot of work to do. I don't need bullshit. Leave your comments. Don't insult me. You see, when you insult me, I am God on social media, you hear? I don't give you what you want. One person insults me, everybody gets sanctioned. That's it. That's why I left the live video.